see what's happening here? What's happening is I am slowly morphing into Bicycle Man. Yeah! Uh, good morning, my friends. We are at the bottom of Mineral Bottom Road, right outside of Canyonlands, and we are gonna ride the White Rim Trail today. Woohoo! This is my good friend Matt. I met him about 15 or so years ago at a St. Patrick's Day parade. He was leading the lawn chair drill team. Petty O Furniture. And he turned 50 this year, I turned 40 this year. We thought we should do something big. Big day for us today. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to start pedaling. <laughs> oh man, it's so beautiful. This is one of my favorite places on the planet. You've been here before, right? You've done this? Yeah, many years ago. But over three days, not one day, so. Yeah, most people do this in about three to four days. We're doing it in one day. It's 100 miles. It's going to be 100 miles of smiles. Sounds cheesy, but it's true. One of the tricky things about this route is there are zero services. So you have to bring in all your own food and water for the next 100 miles. Before getting here today, we stopped by 7-Eleven. Got myself a bean burrito because you can't have an adventure without some frijoles. Clementine. A couple last minute Fig Newmans. And you're probably thinking you're only bringing one water bottle for a 100 mile ride. Not really. Ta-da! We stash some water up at the top so we don't have to hike it all the way up. We're just trying to be smart, you know? All right, Trek 1120, let's go have a, a good day. So we're gonna start out pretty hard. We're gonna go straight up this Mineral Canyon Road, which is a steep one. High five. Uh. Here we go, here we go. Let's do it, White Rim. Woohoo! What do you got? Here's the uphill bud. This is one of those rides where your neck hurts by the end because you're just looking up into the side and around. There's just so much to look at. It's pretty awe-inspiring. The desert is definitely my happy place. I come here just to feel alive. It's a healing place. It's a good place to think. It's a good place to push your body. And it's a great place to hang out with friends. Yeah! Yeah! You probably can't hear that, but the echoes here are insane. I love screaming at canyon walls. So this will give you an idea of what we just rode up. That's the road that we just took. Woo. All right, Matt, we're five miles in. 95 to go. This is going to be a challenging day. This is 100 miles. It's 100 pretty difficult miles. And we just go little by little, keep on pedaling, and we'll make it. I'm guessing it's gonna take us about 10 hours or something. Oh, I think this is where our, our treasure is hidden. Dun, da, da, da. Hello! Oh yeah! and more sunscreen because you just can never have too much sunscreen when you're out under the sun all day long. Oh, this is a lot heavier now. All right, so this road here is the most boring part of the White Rim experience. So we'll see you at the top of Schaefer Road. It is beautiful. Dun, da, da, da. We are on Schaefer Trail now and this is when the White Rim Trail gets real. This is the fun part. So Matt, why'd you want to do this for your 50th year? You know, um, I remember years ago doing this over three days and there was this, when we were down there, I think we were camping, there was this dude that whizzed by us. And I remember saying, wow, what, what's he doing? And somebody in our camp saying, yeah man, he's riding that in a day. Riding in a day. And that kind of blew my mind. And then I actually, since then, I really wanted to do this in one day. So Ryan threw it out there randomly, I think back in November. And I, th 
thought about it for a while and I'm like, mine's turned 40, I'm turning 50. If ever there's a time to do this, it's now. Look at that, look at that. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's, you don't see this very often. There aren't many places on the planet that have views like this and it just takes your breath away and just kind of makes you dream about things. Like, wow, if that's possible on planet Earth, what else is possible? Yes! Woo! I love you, planet Earth! <laughs> Woo! Well done, planet Earth, well, well done. Well done, Mother Nature, I love you! What's funny is I've been here three times. I've been all over Moab and Canyonlands multiple times and it's still just so awesome. I get so psyched. <laughs> That's the big drop. We go all the way down that. And just like that, we're down on the White Rim Trail. Whew, that's quite the downhill. My hands are numb. <laughs> never seen these plateaus look this green and I think that's due to a fairly wet winter and spring here in the Moab area. This is a little bumpy. So I just looked down as I was pedaling and this water bottle cage pulled all the way through. It like created a hole. I'm gonna move this up and use one of these holes that is not, not all stripped out. Okay, I think we're back in business. You stay this time. Locked and loaded, ready to ride bikes. Boom. Look at that! Whoa! Let's let out a little air here. This road is pretty darn bouncy. Give myself a little bit more of a cushion. A little bit up. Look at this. It's a portal to a new view. One of the best parts about this trail is lunchtime is very exciting because you know you're gonna have a sweet place to sit down and enjoy mother nature while enjoying some food. This is a good one right here. What do you think, good place for lunch? Yeah, this will do. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Boom. This is actually pretty good. I don't think the cheese is real, but the beans are real for sure. <laughs> All right, Matt, so how are we doing on time and distance? How are we looking? Well, I kind of wanted to be over halfway done at lunch, five hours in, <laughs> but we're only at 40. So, I'm feeling like we gotta get some miles behind us. So yeah. we're just gonna, we're gonna keep rolling. That's all we can do. Let's keep moving forward. Maybe I should uh, not film as much. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a place where you don't want to turn left too hard. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Status check. We're halfway. We're halfway. We've gone 50 miles. It is about 2.30 p.m. And uh, the only way out is now forward. From what I remember, the, some of the harder parts are in front of us. So it's time to dig deep. All right, let's dig. <laughs> 
Another thing I really love about this day is that cell phones don't work, so you're completely disconnected from the outside world. I'm not tempted to check Instagram or anything, and that's nice to be free of that and just be right here. Of course, I'm talking to this camera, so there is some technology involved, but for the most part, being out here is just being in nature. And for me, that's, that's why I do adventures. I love just getting outside, doing whatever, running, biking, hiking, sitting under a tree. How do you feel, Matt? Feeling, feeling good, feeling tired. Ah, uh, back's a little sore. How's your butt? My butt hurts. <laughs> Is anything not sore? Uh, my <laughs> earlobes are not sore. Okay, that's good. Fair enough. <laughs> Not good. Down water bottle. Having a hard day with water bottles. Stay. Slow ride. Take it easy. Ooh. Whoa -ho. Look at that view. Is this all you could have imagined for your 50th birthday blowout? <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, where's another one? Mother Nature putting on a show today. One of the unfortunate realities of trying to do this in one day is you can't really stop for too long and enjoy things because you gotta go. And right now, we're under the gun. We're going much slower than we had anticipated. So now we are uh, racing the sunlight. We're gonna be okay, but we gotta keep moving. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little bit freaky, but worth it, because that is the view. It is 4.15 p.m. So we have 35 miles to go. And the beauty of that is that number doesn't start with a seven. <laughs> it doesn't start with a nine. It starts with just a little three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 35. That's like an afternoon ride. And you go a lot faster if you make motorcycle sounds. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> motorcycle sounds, I promise. But that's not even close to the hard hill. <laughs> that was just a wee bump. Rollin', 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 man, my ass is swollen, rawhide! I was just talking to Matt about how the older I get, how I realize that doing these types of things is such a luxury. I'm so fortunate to be able to do this. You know, I've traveled the world and I've seen that a lot of this planet could never imagine taking a weekend day to go ride their bikes a hundred miles. Their day-to-day -day lives are hard enough. Whether it's, you know, caring for five kids, working three jobs, or picking food out of a, a landfill just to survive. And, you know, I have the luxury of time, and I have expensive equipment and this bike, and I can go do this. And so, when it gets hard, on these adventures, which it always does. I try to keep in perspective that I am a lucky boy to be able to be able to do this. And it kind of keeps me going. You gotta fill your heart with some compassion and love for those who, who can't do this. And that's my deep thought of the day as we're getting ready for a giant hill. Go for it, buddy. Oh, close enough. You can tell by my breathing that this is, this is a tough one. 
Come on, buddy. Come on, man. Uh, nice view. Uh, oh, man. Come on. Oh, boy. Keep going. You got this. Ah. Oh, yes. Ah. That kind of gives you an idea of how steep it is. It comes from way down there, right here. My legs are jiggly. Woohoo! Whoa, look at this! Yeah! Hello, Shadow. How are you doing today? Steep hills at the end of the day are kind of hard. But whatever goes up, must go down. is so beautiful, so peaceful, wow. Hills are fun. Hills are fun. I love hills. Yeah, buddy! <sighs> oh, wow. <sighs> I don't think it could be more beautiful than it is now. This is the perfect time of day to see these rocks. They're lit up. Dark, burnt, orange and red. The setting sun. <sighs> High quick. Let's look for that to fall on your head. You got this. Come on. All right, 7:30. 10 miles to go. Oh my God! There it is. We did it. Ah! We did it, we feel good, it was a challenge. I'm proud of you. Matt's first 100 miler in like 10 years and it was a hard one. Uh, if you're still watching this video, you deserve an award too. <laughs> this is a long one. And yeah, Whew. thank you Mother Nature for a beautiful day. Thank you Planet Earth. And uh, let's eat some food, I'm starving.